Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. Navy Team PCA. Nate 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. The Owl House, Season 2, Tomorrow's Lie. And I, I gotta say, it, it's, a, it's a bad episode. A lot of things happen, uh, which is good, because the story moves forward and everything. But this this whole thing is just so convenient. The, there's so many conveniences in this episode that it, it couldn't be more convenient if there was a slurping machine and a chip rack. It's unbelievable that they just, oh, like right in the beginning, oh, it was really easy to build the door. We have all those stuff there. Well, that's nice that they just had all the stuff. Wouldn't it have been great to see them have to like build the door and find the right pieces? Nope, it's just ready to go. It And like the journal thing, remember all that time of her trying to get that information out of the stupid mouse? Just just having Amity in the f- episode before go, oh, she gave me some tips. She has everything she needs now. Every single bit of information. What? That that is so lazy. And that 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 would be a really cool story thing you could do. But instead it's just, oh, my wonderful girlfriend showed me and that that's good enough. Ugh. The ending's great. Uh the ending's a is a nine out of ten. It's it's amazing. I love the but it's easy to do sad. It's easy to do upsetting. It that's the most simplest thing to write. Just make somebody have to go away when you don't want them to go away. Boom. Easy. You cry. It's great. It's wonderful. It's good. Everything else. All the all the things we're thinking about, like, oh, there's like an, an opposite loose. What's going on with that? Is it a evil spell? Is it malevolent? When we find out what it is, it's literally the dumbest thing that comes out of nowhere. There's no way to see that this was going to happen. So all the guesses, all the theories meant nothing. So we open up and we see... Uh, the regular house, you know, and it we, we see loose like cleaning up, but it's not the real loose, it's the other loose who has the the sh- everyone keeps saying the mirror loose, the shadow loose, but she has her hair all nice and she's throwing away all her old stuff. And look at that picture of loose when she was a little girl, look how cute she was. But we see that she acts a little different that she's acting a little too nice like she's being too good of a daughter because she's coming out with some garbage and the mom's like oh you're throwing all this away he's like i thought you used to like to make you know tinfoil cranes and she's like oh no i'm just growing up you know i did a lot of growing up when i went to camp and it's uh you know i'm starting to want to live a different life a new start so we're like oh okay we see a little rabbit got caught in a trap like someone set up a little like snare trap and the mom you know Gets her gloves on. She's going to set it free. So the mom is very passionate about animals. We find out that she's a veterinarian and not a nurse, but she wears like the the hospital stuff, right? The scrubs. Is that what they call them? And so the mom has a lot of passion for animals, and which is nice. Then, you know, Luce, you know, in quotes, goes into a room and sees our Luce, the one, the real Luce, in the uh, mirror. And she screams at her, boom, uh, cold opener over. So like, oh, okay, what, what's going on here? You know, this is interesting. And then we get into the thing. And again, the story is written by 500 people. I, I don't know how this is even possible. <laughs> what did you write three lines? You write three lines. I don't I don't know how this is even a thing. How can this many people add to this very basic and weird story? Like, wouldn't you want to finish it? Like, if I was telling the story, did they only go 10% and then hand it off to the next person? I don't know. It's weird why there's so many people on the story. And that, like I said, she's like, oh, wow, uh, it was complicated or it was like complicated to build the door. But thank goodness you had all the, the pieces right here because you know how uh, Ida would collect junk. How convenient. So she tears a little bit off the, the, the blood of the glove and she's like, oh, wow, it's interesting to know that this powerful stuff was inside the key the whole time. And then look at Ida and King look at each other like they knew. So it looks like there's a lot of people not sharing information. Because we've, later in the episode, we see that Luce is lying, and I don't like that. Just be open. Why Why lie? What, what's the point of lying? So, I think this is a lie of omission here, but they go it, uh, and the door, you know, powers up, but it doesn't look normal. The door's all jacked up, like it's, the door's all like, uh, I don't want to say uh, Dr. Seuss, like it's not straight. And they're like, okay, here, tie this rope to you and jump in there. Ah, why would you do that? <laughs> why not send in... I know they can like 
make things right like the little like eyeball fly thing you know go in there like a drone see what's in there no they just like let loose jump in there i know they tied like a, a rope to her but who knows if that this isn't like an instant plane of destruction where there's no oxygen and she just dies so they just let her jump in because you know that's what you do and she wakes up in the water but it's all like that goopy water and we see a bunch of cubes and stuff floating around so she's in an in-between so she's not in the demon realm and she's not in the human realm. She's like in this like in like like a limbo type place. She's like calling for help and nothing's happening. And then you see a cube come down and then she's able to like look through the cube. But she's in the glass of the demon world. Like she's in the owl house, like not in it, but like part of the owl house. She's in the glass. And then she sees uh, Ida and King and like, oh, we got to trust loose. You know, she's in there. Begin, let her do her thing. So she's able to peer into worlds. Like through the glass. Why is that a thing? And why is it just responding to her voice? See this this just happens so fast. There should have been a bunch of like testing. Like she goes in there. She didn't get to work. She comes out of the door. They go back in. They try something else. They try magic. It doesn't work. They pull her out. And then they slowly but surely figure out. Oh if I think hard enough. I can bring forth what I want to see. No, it just happens so conveniently fast. She's like, oh, what if I could see Amity because she wants to be a pervert? But then she decides against it because that's like an invasion of privacy. Good move, Luce. Thank God you didn't give in to your perverted ways. Then she like calls out her mom's name. And then there's a cube, but it's way up there. So she tries to make a ice pillar. Magic doesn't work here. Just like how magic didn't work in the human realm either. It doesn't work here. So she just climbs on top of another cube to get up there. And it's the reflection of the mother's iPhone and she has it like hooked up to like the stereo. So it's like in the kitchen so she can see her mom and we see that she's like, you know, cooking and everything. But then the other loose shows up and then our loose is like, Whoa, what the heck? Who the hell is that? But we can see that she's getting along with the mother and they're talking and just being like normal, but not normal for loose, but normal for a normal kid. Then, our loose is like what the hell mom you know you got to get away from that person who is that like she's trying to figure out what's going on then we get to the beginning of the episode remember when she was in the the mirror the closet mirror and she of course gets scared and then the person like oh no you must be from the demon world and right from that second i'm like oh it's a good person why, why couldn't it be something deeper than what it what it was why couldn't it be like oh I, i've been found out like oh no i gotta hide now no it's more like oh no I, I'm gonna lose some, like, you can just tell even in her voice. You're from the demon realm. Listen, I just want to. I'm not going back. I, I won't go back. That she's kind and she's sweet. It's, it's, it's disappointing because how, this was a big buildup, right? I mean, all the theories and fan theories, all that stuff just literally goes out the window. So then Lewis is like, whoa, 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 come down, come down. I, I just want to know what's going on. They're like, who are you? How did you get here? And, you know, she takes off and then they go to that abandoned house, which looks a lot like her regular house that's right next to it. This is weird. I don't know how comfortable I would feel if there was a straight up, you know, abandoned murder shack within feet of my house. Like, like Luce's house is up against a forest and there's no like a uh, yard line. There's no fence or anything. And so this other house is just there. Uh -huh. Are they going to explain why that is? Is this like a parallel to Luce's house? Because it's very similarly shaped. Like, look at both these houses. They are they look like they could be, you know, twin houses. But that other Luce runs in there and we see that the, the, the room's all, the house all destroyed and everything. So, you know, this would be a place where all the, oh, let's go bust out the windows. You know, kids do crap like that. There'd be bums in here. But we see that there's another trap. And it grabs her leg and pulls her in. But then we see that she's starting to transform. Like, oh, it's like a shapeshifter. And we see, like, it's like a... First, I thought it was some type of, um, like, Undine-looking thing. Because it almost looks kind of like mermaidish. Looks a little aquatic. But then Lucy's like, calm down. Because you can see that it's, like, just a young girl. And she's doing, like, this halfway. It looks like half loose. Looks like half the, the, the demon. It's a monster. I don't know. I wouldn't consider this the demon. Demons would have a different connotation, in my mind. But Luce is like, hey, what, what's going on? Uh, I don't want to hurt you, but let me get you out of this trap. You know, first, you know, give it some slack, back up, and then there's a little metal piece, you know, loosen it up and get your foot out of there. Now, let's just talk. Who are you? Where'd you come from? 
And here's the big giant mystery. Uh, she's like, Hey, um, she, she's just some Baskalis girl that can, I guess they can transform. They, they, they absorb magic and they can transform. Um, that's it. That's all she is. And she was just trying to get away from being captured and stuff. Um, okay. That's it. That, that, that's the whole story that, that there was no, like, there was no evil loose. There was no, like, uh, the, there was an emperor bellows doing something. No, it was just some random monster. <laughs> what it took what six people to write that <sighs> but she's like hey if you need to get magic to the the transform you know because this could work just keep pretending to be me and then my mom's none the wiser and then my mom doesn't have to worry and you have somewhere to live and then when i get back we'll figure it out and i'll help you get a, a, a safe place in the demon world she's like oh that's nice and all but i used up all my magic i need more magic she's like hey uh look at that piece of paper and then flip it over there's a there's like a thing for Eda. Because Ida would go to the human world. So it's like, oh, there might be some magical items there. She would sell stuff to the uh, people and do like barters and stuff. So there might be some magical items. You could use those to uh, absorb some information and, you know, some uh, magic and you can transform again. So she gets all dressed up to kind of disguise herself. And we see these two people, which I'm assuming are the two brothers at the end. Um, ridiculous. So is Bellos one of these guys or did he kill his brother? Because in the journal, we only see one guy. But we learned later on that they both went to the demon realm. So I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know, fused together or something. Get back to Luce and she's uh <laughs> goes to the bakery. And like I said, I might I do a TikTok review, super quick ones are like a minute, minute and a half. Doesn't this girl look weird? Because we've only ever seen other humans. Luce was the only other human we ever seen. But doesn't this character look strange to you? I don't know. But she's talking about like, oh, was there like a witch lady that came in here? And she's like, oh, that, 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 her name was like Mel Melanie or something. I guess she's been banned. She's like, oh, she tried to sell me something in exchange for food, but then she like cursed all her croissants or something. She said it was a month ago. Why wouldn't they already be gone? Like, why would they keep them? Baked goods go bad in a day. They would throw them away. And maybe at least one day later, have them like on discount. So she goes, checks the trash. They wouldn't be there. We see a bunch of rats and we get straight up secret in them because these rats can talk now because they eat, they ate the magic croissants and they're like crazy rats. Like, Hey, give us some more of the magical thing. Like they have a really funny voice. Red wisdom grants us speech. We desire more. And then I'll, I'll lose like, Ooh, like she wants to talk to them. Like, no, these things look like absolute monsters. So she runs off and then looks like, Hey, she's like, I don't like confrontation. I, I, I hide from things. I'm, I'm scared. So, then we see some other kids. Again, these kids look weird. How could Luce be the only normal looking human being in the world? So these characters just look really weird, but they're supposed to be like teenagers. And then Luce is like, whoa, those are, uh, those teens are playing with, um, uh, Hex, Hexide. What are they, what are they called? T uh, Hexum Hold'em or whatever it was called. And they might be some magic still left in those cards. So maybe you could absorb them. But I guess, um, V, they call she calls herself V the basculus girl she's like hey i can't smell any magic on them but maybe they know where to get some more then of course these kids are weird and she's like oh let me go talk to them and then Luce's like no 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 don't go talk to those 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 kids you know they're they're teenagers you can't just go up there and talk to them they're gonna think you're weird but as we see v walks up there and she knows these kids oh hey how's it going loose oh you know and they kind of have a conversation i guess they met at camp and then we get see this is the parts of the episode that are actually pretty good but then Luce is like whoa, this V girl made friends and I could never make friends. And she did it without even being a human being. Like she was a better loose than me. Mm, she kind of has that concerned look on her face. Like, dang, I, I, she pulled that off. But I guess the this uh, local like little history museum is selling these cards. All right, goes in there. And again, we get another uh, evil white guy. I know that's redundant. Um, just saying he's a white guy, we know he's evil. Uh, and he's like, oh, you're here to buy some more of those cards, aren't you? And she's like, oh, yes, uh, yes, I am. And he's like, yeah, some some lady sold them to me. And, of course, that's going to be Ida. And he's like, but I'm working on some stuff. Just wait here, and then, you know, I'll I'll be able to help you. She starts looking around the museum, and then we see uh, the, the two brothers. She needs some more of the stuff. It's kind of like the mystery shack, but a lot nicer. <laughs> like, like an official, like, actual museum. But she kind of tells about her backstory about being trapped, and she's afraid that if she can't, she all know where to go. And we see that their people were just subjugated. And then the Bellos was using them, wanting to know how they absorbed magic. So they captured all the uh, Basculus and was using them against their will. 
And she was able to escape on the same day that Luce went to the demon realm. No, the door was still open. She snuck into there and then just took her place. So when the mom thought she was going to go to on the bus to go to camp, she walks out of that house. She's like, oh, hey, Luce, I got a better idea. How about I drive you to camp? And then we can like hang out. And of course, she... All she ever wanted was a family and this lady was super nice to her and she's like, oh, wow, this this can be like my mom. It's not real. I know it's wrong, but I, I'm glad you left so I can feel like I have a place I belong. And then she's even upset with Luz because she's like, you ran away from that? You have a wonderful mom. Why would you leave this? Why would you go to go to a world where you could die and be killed and, you know, being hunted and all that stuff? Like, why wouldn't you just stay here with the, your your mom who's kind and sweet? So that's another stab at Luce. Like, why did you go? Well, because it was boring. Seriously? You know, when you talk to someone who's really had to live on the streets and stuff, and then you realize you ran away from a perfectly, perfectly good home, it, 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 it hurt her. Like, it hurt V, and but at the same time, she's happy she did it because then she got to experience having like a normal life. But we see that this dude is kind of a weirdo. Like I said, it was a white guy, so we know he's a bad guy. We see that he had a bunch of like cameras hitting around. He's the one who set up all the traps. And yeah, what the heck? Like he even has footage of her being like uh turning into loose. So it it's um so it happens really fast. Like all this could have been multiple episodes. Wouldn't it be great to have like a couple episodes in the human world? But it just all happens quickly. So this guy's like a monster demon hunter. He wants to, and it's the dumbest reasoning too. He can't just be a demon hunter because he hates demons and he thinks they're evil. No, he has like this really stupid, like, I got uh, radicalized by the alt-right. <laughs> she drops the compact because that's how she's been watching her. Then she's like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta help my, I gotta help her because she's being captured. She's able to jump into another piece of glass like that's just like on a picture frame and she's in a cage now and she doesn't want to be in a cage because that's been her whole entire life. Guy's like, whoa, I can't believe it. you're actually real. One of my traps worked. You know, I had a, a an encounter with one of you demons before. And we see a picture of Eden when she was in the owl form. So she must have gone out in the forest at one time. He saw her. So he's been obsessed with demons. Then he's like, yeah, I, I thought, you, you know, everyone told me they were fake. But I went on the internet and I found out the truth. That there's going to be like a war on Mars. And there's like, they're like they're part of their aliens and demons. And then Lewis is like, oh, what an idiot. Of course, he's a white guy. So, of course, he's an idiot. Um, then he's like, yeah. And then the, then even the best is like, you don't know anything about demons, do you? Oh, yeah, I do. And then when I show, uh, the whole internet's going to know now. I want to make a video. And, like, of course, he's a complete utter moron. Lewis is like, hey, I I, I, I got to help you. You know, we can we can still get you out of here. She's like, no, just forget it. I, I've been living in cages my whole life. It's nothing new for me. Who cares? Uh, just saw uh, you know, you had a, you know, making Luce feel bad because she's willing just to give up. And he's like, she's, you know, the whole, you gave up the perfect life. Like, why did you do that? But now I'm stuck in a cage. I got to live it for a little bit. So, you know, just go and live your life loose. And she cracks the glass so she can't go in there. There was tons of glass over that thing. She, she could have get jumping around, but she calls to her mom. And then she just thinks she's FaceTiming her. How convenient. She's like, no, mom, let me sit down. Let me explain everything to you. She explains that all the demon world doors, but she thinks Luce is playing a game. Oh, Luce, your little funny thing. Oh, sure. I'll come help your friend at the museum. Oh, you do- must be doing like one of your little pretend Dungeons and Dragons games. She goes in there and the guy's like, oh, who are you? Oh, I hear that you have a demon here. And she keeps like winking. He's like, oh, really? Are you from the government? She's like, oh, I'm a veterinarian. Oh, the government sent a veterinarian. This guy's completely out of his mind. He's so stupid. Then, you know, the mom keeps thinking, wow, you really convinced this guy to play this all up? And, uh, like, Luce, you, 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 you have such intricate games. And you go into the room. She's like, wow, look at all this stuff. Like, this is getting a little intense, Luce. And then he goes into the history about like how uh, th- this whole town's been, you know, always had something to do with demons. And then we see that, oh, there was two brothers that had an encounter and they went to another world. But everyone says it was fake, but it was real. So two brothers. Bells is one of those guys, or maybe Bells is both of these guys. Maybe they fused together, or maybe he took his brother's life essence to like feed his own. Because in that journal, we only ever see one guy. Maybe his brother died. Maybe that's why he hates demons. Who knows? But then Luce is like, uh, uh, Luce's mom is like, oh, okay. Then he's like, here, check this out. And he like shows the demon. And she's like, whoa, that costume is really real. She's like, 
and the guy's like, costume, this is a real basilisk. And she's like, oh my goodness. And, and Luce this whole time is like, mom, I've been trying to tell you, this is real. This is real. <laughs> and then she's, he, he's like, now then, uh, look at this, uh, this armor that I have, you know, I had it specially made for this. Let me, let me go put it on. Guy's a complete, utter idiot. Then Luce is like, yeah, mom, I know. I'm sorry. This is all real. I know it's a ton of stuff to take in, but we need to help this girl. We got to get her out of here because she even sees that. She's just like this scared creature. And of course, the mom, like when they saved the rabbit, this is the very same kind of feelings that this is something that does not want to be captured. Then she's like, come on, I'm going to help you. You know, and she even t tells her, I think it's a really sweet line. Oh, this is a really great line. But who knew I had such a strong girl living under my roof this whole time? Huh? Yeah, it makes you smile. I love it. I love it. I smiled. It was great. But the guy has his armor on. Looks like a complete, absolute idiot. Then she's like, oh, I'm going to, I'm taking this girl with me and you're not going to stop me because like the president, she's like trying to make something up and then she's like, forget it. I can't make up these things. I'm going to call the cops and say, you're the one who's been sitting all these illegal traps and everything. But this dude totally has like a sword and I'm like, oh no, like the mom is just the mom. <sighs> okay. Hispanic, Mexican, brown, whatever white people are calling us nowadays. Um, she pulls out the chancla. Yes, I know. That's like a thing. And then he hit you with the shoe. Uh, I'm getting tired of it. it. It's right there with Luchadors, Chudos, and Mirachis, and, and uh, Day of the Dead. It's there's more to the culture than this, you know. Like, oh, she pulls out a chancla. Really? That's it. That's how she beats him, and he's wearing armor and has a sword. We don't see the fight, but she's able to beat the crap out of him, throw him in a cage. Oh, okay, the power of the chancla. Um, then we then it starts raining. She comes home, and. We see that uh, she got the cards. She's like, oh, here you go. Oh, yeah, magic. She's able to eat all the cards. We never see her again in the rest of the episode. So I'm assuming she becomes loose again. Then the reflection of the of the light on the rain allows her to, like, project. How convenient. Then the mom's like, what's going on? Demons and stuff? Loose? What, what is all this? She's like, yeah, I know, mom. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find a way home. And But for now, you have to take care of this girl. And then she's like, but... Luce, is this the only way I'm ever going to see you again? It's like this. I'm never going to actually see my real daughter. She's like, no, 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 mama. I'm going to find my way home. But she's like, you know what? I see that you matured a lot. Questionable. What? What? How's that? She's like, yeah, I know, mom. This is the best decision I ever made. And mom's like, what? This wasn't like some freak accident. You did this on purpose? You ran away from me? And then the loose realizes in her mind, like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that because it sounds awful. And this is the best part of the episode. She's like, I was such a horrible mom. You know, I was so living with me was so terrible that you had to run away to a world of demons where you could die and there's magic and monsters and all these things. She's like, no, 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 mom, that isn't it. She's like, but I'll make it better. I, I promise come back home and it will be totally different. So the mom is doing anything to get her daughter back. You can run the roost. You don't have to go to school. You can do any, whatever you want. You can be absolutely out of your mind. Just come home. But even Luce is like, no, mom, that's that's not that's not it. That's that's not why I went. But then she like, promise me, Luce, when you get home, you'll stay home. And then she like, okay, mom, I promise. And then she kind of floats up. Super sad again, but it's easy to write sad. It doesn't take 10 people to write this. Uh, they pull her out and the door was closing. So they're like, oh, wow, Luce, so did you see? She's like, yeah, I saw my mom. He's like, oh, did you talk about me? Oh, yeah. My mom can't wait to see all of you. Why is she lying? Why didn't she tell the truth saying, hey, the door didn't work correctly. I was able to go through the glass. I did speak to my mom. But, you know, like you would imagine, my mom would be upset. There was a basculist girl. Like, why not explain the situation? Why did she lie? And I don't like lying. Lying should 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 be uh, hurtful to like her magic or something. Like she, she loses confidence because she has this lie weighing her down or something. I don't know. Will they touch on any of this ever again? I highly doubt it. They just do things that are convenient because they are. It's disappointing. They could have done so much more of this episode. Uh, it's a it's a 4.3. I think that's what I gave it over on TikTok. Yeah, the last part's cool. The mom's awesome. The guy just being ridiculously evil. Uh, and then just all the conveniences. Just convenient as I've ever it could ever be. But um, yeah, the new season, I think it's already out. Is it out? I don't know. But um, I'll probably jump on that, get another episode out next week. But thanks for watching, guys. In the comments down below, do you think they're going to touch on any of this? Did you think 
that there was a shadow loose or there was an evil like presence or like maybe this basilisk was going to slowly drain the mom's life force. No, it, it just turned out to be the most kind and wonderful and convenient thing for Luce to keep doing what she's doing. But um, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Okay, mom, I promise. That's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.